What is going on fellow farmers? Welcome back to another beginner's guide tutorial with your boy CJ Farms right here on FS22. Today guys going to be showing you how to maximize the growth and yield in your harvest. Now I do want to give a proper shout out as this video would not be possible without the help of this man and I will link his YouTube channel below. Uh, go check out Scroft right here on YouTube guys. Um, as he was a big help in me making this video right here um, and uh, a couple of tricks in the way that I'm making this video. So big shout out to you, Scroff. Thank you so much for responding to my comment. If you ever see this video, man, thank you so much for your response, man, your quick response. Uh, guys, go check out Scroff right here on YouTube. He does a lot of FS22 content, um, and he's got a lot of great stuff, man. Go check this guy out and show him some CJ love. Scroff, shout out to you, brother. Thank you again for your quick response uh, and your um, interactions with your subscribers. Guys, let's get on with this. Today, we're going to be talking about how to maximize the growth and uh, in your yield. So there's 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 a few steps to this. Now, this is after harvest. Um, as you guys can see, um, this field has been harvested, as you can see right there on my uh, field info. So you're going to need a field that is harvest that's been harvested. Now, after harvest, I do want to point this out. Let me get my notes pulled up as I do have some notes. Um, we are going to be talking about lime today as th that's something I never really talk about or I never really get into, but we're going to start getting into lime. Um, now, the first thing that we are going to need, we are going to need one, two, three, four, five, six different tools for this um, tutorial, okay? So the first thing we're going to need is a mulcher. Now, if you go to your store and go down to tools and then just go down to mulchers, you will find your mulchers right here. This is the one that I am using in this specific tutorial. Now, if you guys do not have the money for um, this type of equipment and you want that money, I will link my video here on how to become filthy rich on FS22. I'll link the one for PC users and the one for console users as well. Um, so here's your mulcher guys. This is the one you want to get or or any mulcher to, to say the least uh, You can just get a mulcher of your choice um, In my opinion, I think the bigger one is the better one um, And then next up you're going to need uh, a plow Okay back into your store go to tools and then go over to plows right next to mulchers and right here is the plow that I'm using I'm using the agro uh, This is the one that I have right here. It's a very nice plow and then next up, we're going to be using a fertilizer to spread out our lime, uh, a fertilizer spreader to spread out our lime. Go to your store, guys. Go to tools. I'm going to show you where all the stuff is. And go down to, um, where is it at? Fertilizer spreaders right there, guys and girls. So you want one of these to spread your lime. Um, this is the one I'm using right here. I'm using the uh, Brittle K105 right here, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you get a hold of that. And then next up, we're going to be needing a roller. Uh, and we're also going to need a rock picker, as I will be putting that in the video as well. And I'll show you where both of those are. So the rollers is going to be under uh, your store and under tools. And you're just going to go down and find until you find rollers right here. Uh, this is the one I'm using right here. This one right here, guys. It's a very nice roller. And then um, your uh, stone pickers is going to be under tools as well. And right here, and this is the one that I'll be purchasing here shortly for our tutorial. Uh, so we are getting into field stone. We'll be getting a lime and field stone today. So let's go ahead and get into the first part of this tutorial. It's going to jump in our tractor right here. Now this is how to maximize your yield. Okay, so just keep in mind that when you use a mulcher, it increases the yield by five percent. Okay, now I did learn all this from washing Scroft. Uh, that's why I'm giving him a huge shout out in this video. So I'm going to pull over to the field here. As you guys can see, when you go over to the field, when you go over to the field, you will notice that if it has been harvested, it will say on your field info, harvested. And you will also see all these little prickly things on the ground, and you can tell, obviously, that's been harvested, okay? So with that being said, we're going to hop back in here and uh, make sure your help window is down because you're, I'm going to tell you guys, that help window will be your best friend. It will be your best friend. So we're going we're gonna to drop this mulcher down. We're going to unfold it. Let me get let me get it over here far enough guys so you want to just you just want to mulch the ground here now be careful because it will mulch your grass as well so we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop it down about right there 
and we're going to turn it on and we're going to start going as you guys can see it did get my grass and these are the state the stages that you want to go through to to maximize your yield in your crop um it, it it's it's well worth it guys I turn it off there it is very i promise you guys it's very well worth it it may take a lot of time to do these steps but it is well well worth it and it, it'll be very well worth your time when you see your crop and how much you actually get out of it um it, it's going to uh, amaze you um and you can do comparisons you can go to a like a regular field like that over there and just go over and and and, and harvest it and see what the difference is that you get let's go ahead and drop this down here so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to finish this field up here guys and once i get done i'll bring you guys back into the video for the next step of this tutorial all right, guys and girls, so you will now notice after we have mulched the field that the field will look a bit flaky, like it's got loose stuff everywhere, which that's what it does. That's what a mulcher is. It mulches things up. Uh, now, if you have your periodic lime on, which you probably should in uh, FS22, as I do recommend using lime as it does really increase the yield. Um now with that being said we're going to go on the next step here the next step and i didn't i didn't show you guys the rest of the equipment here but i'm going to go ahead and do that now so after the row we're, we're going to go to our cedar here now if you go into the store and go down to tools and then just go down to um go to cedars here if i can find them I always have trouble okay so here's the cedars right here and the one that i'm using is this one right here um it is the coon uh, 6040 RCS right here. This is the one I'm using. Now, keep in mind if you use this, keep in mind if you use this particular cedar right here, you if you if you click on it and then click where it says combinations, it will show you that piece right there. So if you get this right here, you're also going to have to get this to run it, okay? This one hooks to the front of the tractor, and this one hooks to the back of the tractor. Just kind of keep that in mind, okay? All right, so we're going to be using that as well. And then next up, we're going to be doing a, a state of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. If you go to the store and go back down to where fertilizer spreaders are and then go over to sprayers, uh, you will see the one that I'm using right here, the Mega 1200. This is the one I'm using. Now, this one is a standalone mod. All right, it's not a mod. I'm sorry. It's a standalone tool. So it works by itself. You don't have to have anything on the front. But if you click on it, it says combinations, it will show this tank right here. As this is just an, an extra accessory tank, so if you need more fertilizer for a bigger field, you have it right there, okay? Uh, you can also use, I believe you can also use herbicide in this. Yes, you can use herbicide and fertilizer in this particular fertilizer. So, with that being said, next step is going to be plow. Now, plowing uh, increases the yield by 15%, okay? Uh, now, keep in mind, when we plow, and if you have field stone enabled which I'm recommending that you do, um, it's going to pull up rocks. So when you plow and when you cultivate, it's going to pull up rocks, okay? Uh, now, needless to say, since plowing increases your yield by 15%, uh, although the rocks are going to cause damage to your vehicles, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get over this way. I'm pretty sure this is flipped the right way. And we're going to start here, and we're going to drop it down. If I can... Oh, that was the wrong one. My mistake. That was my weight. Let's drop this down. We need to drop this down, and let's go back this way. I want to make sure I'm over far enough. And then we're just going to start plowing the field here, okay? So this is step two uh, to maximizing your yield. Uh, it just, you know, all these steps take a little bit. But I promise you guys, it, it it is definitely it is definitely worth it. Now, keep in mind, when you turn around the other side to use your plow, you always want to flip your plow over, okay? Just like so. Most plows that you use will flip, if not all of them. I'm pretty sure all of them flip, so that tree is right in my way. All right, so we're going to go right here. We're going to drop it down again. We're going to get going. Uh, but just keep in mind that your plowing does increase the yield by 15%. So I'm going to finish this up, guys, and I will bring you all back in the video once I'm done. All right, so now that we've plowed the field... <coughs> sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so now that we've plowed the field, you can see that now there are little stones that have popped up all over the field. Now, there's a difference between little rocks and big rocks, the big stones, 
and from what it says is that you only have to pick up the big stones with the uh, rock picker. Uh, I'm sorry, the stone picker, um, which I did buy, and I also bought a cultivator, which we're going to need, guys. Um, and I will show you exactly where to get those. So, uh, the cultivator that I got is right here, which is going to be... Um, Sorry, lime is going to be our next stage. But this cultivator here, guys, you're going to go into your store. You're going to go up to tools. And you're going to go to cultivators over here, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the cultivator I'm using right here. It's going to be the Lemkin Carrot 12500. Uh, this is the one I'm using right here. It's very nice. It's very nice. I picked it because it's a little bit longer and it gets the job done a little quicker. Um, so we'll be using that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, now, you can use disc arrows. Just keep in mind, if you use a disc arrow instead of a cultivator, um, the disc arrow is going to speed up the process of the weeds growing. So you're going to have a better chance of not having weeds if you use a cultivator opposed to using a disc arrow. So you can use a disc arrow, but you're probably going to have weeds if you do, okay? So I would just recommend using a cultivator. And the next tool you need is going to be a stone picker. You're going to go down to tools in your store and go to stone pickers. And then you can choose from any which one of these that you would like. Uh, however, this is the one I'm using right here. Um, it, it, pick, it picks the rocks right up. So uh, just from experience, guys, I've tried these two right here. Uh, and they do not work. Uh, they did not pick up no stones for me. I don't know if I just, I don't know if I did it wrong or what. But those two did not work. Now, that's not to say that they don't work. They just didn't work for me. Okay? But I was using the uh, Scorpio 550 right here. Okay? So, I do recommend getting that. Now, next up, we are going to have to uh, put down some lime. So, you're going to need this fertilizer spreader as I showed you guys. So, I'm going to mark my spot here for store delivery mod. I'm going to mark it there. And I am going to go into my store. And if you go to your store... And go down to objects and then go to big bag pallets. You will find <clears throat> your lime is right here, okay? So you're only going to need like one bag for this field. I mean, you can do two and go ahead and fill up your entire fertilizer. And I'll go ahead and do that myself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get two bags. And we're going to hop in our tractor here. <clears throat> I really need something to drink. <clears throat> I don't have anything close by. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take this fertilizer right here, fertilizer sprayer spreader i'm sorry fertilizer spreader and we're going to pull up next to this and like i said you're helping though it's going to help it's going to be your best friend because as soon as you pull up next to those bags and you're in the right spot on the trigger it's going to tell you to refill your fertilizer so you're going to go ahead and click that and you are now filling your fertilizer spreader with lime that's what that symbol down there means like the little kind of like the little looks like the little rocks with the little uh mountain of of uh, whatever it is behind it i guess that's that's the lime all right, so once you get this, you're going to go out on the field. All right, and lime. Now, keep in mind, lime is only required on your field every three cycles. Now, what does that mean? That means every three cycles is every three harvests. So let's just say that you plant uh, three rounds of crop, right? Let's say you, you plant it three times in the same field, okay? And you grow it three times in the same field, and you harvest it three times in the same field. After you harvest it that third time, okay, you're going to need lime, okay? You don't have to do it every time you harvest, but every every third harvest, you're going to need lime, okay? Just keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn this on, uh, if I can get it to turn on. And I'm going to get over just a little bit here so I can get the entire field. And if I miss any, I will go back and get it. As I, I always... I always I always think that this thing's going to spread out way far, and it never, ever works out that way for me. I don't know why it does that. But just make sure, uh, don't do like me, make sure you're getting the entire field. Uh, we're going to spin it around right here, and we're going to continue with it right here. And like I said, guys, make sure you're getting the entire field. Like I said, this this is all a step to getting a an amazing and successful harvest, okay? That's what all this is for. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the lime on this field, and I promise you I'll get those edges. So if anybody's OCD like myself, it will not drive you crazy, okay? Uh, with that being said, I will see you all in the next part of the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, the lime has been laid down. Um, 
and it's going to look like this right here but like i said just make sure the entire field is covered and lime is only done again it's only done every three cycles so every third harvest is going to require lime uh so the next step up is going to be cultivating so we're going to get our cultivator i need to move my rock well i can just pull out around that and we're going to get our cultivator now keep in mind when you plow and when you cultivate it's going to pull those stones up okay it's going to pull them up because that's what plowing and cultivating does they dig deep into the ground and they they pull things up so it's it's going to pull up those uh, stones okay so just just kind of keep that in mind i hope that thing spreads out further than that i'm pretty sure it does okay no it does not okay that's that's a little disappointing but i'm going to pull onto the field here and you just want to cultivate the entire field as you would anything else let's go ahead and pull up let's drop it down and we're now going to cultivate the field uh, again guys trust me it's it's worth it doing all this is a lot of steps but it is totally worth it when you finally get to harvest your crop it's it's totally it's it's totally worth it um and you're gonna have not only a beautiful crop but you're gonna have more than what you thought you would have okay and it still may not seem like a lot it still may not seem like a lot but i tell you what you can do go go and plant on a field that's cultivated but has no lime on it um no plowing nothing like that it has none of the steps that we're doing here and differentiate your harvest see how much harvest you get from a field that doesn't have all these steps opposed to a field that does have all the steps that we're doing here okay so just kind of you know differentiate the two you guys can see there's the stones popping up again right there uh, but I'm gonna finish this up again I'm gonna finish it up and I'll bring y'all back into the next part of the video all right so as you guys can see the stones are a lot more exposed now because we have uh, put down lime and we have dug deeper into the dirt so they're more exposed which is going to make it easier to pick up with the stone collector now you have two options here uh, with the bigger stones which I just go ahead and run a stone I keep saying a stone collector I can I just go ahead and run a stone picker through it uh, just to be sure um, because with the rower the reason we got the rower is because the rower was will, will push the smaller stones back down into the dirt and I'm assuming that is these little bitty specks that you see right here see those little specks I'm assuming that's what that is those little bitty specks from my crosshairs right there see that and I'm assuming these are the big stones. I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert on this. I haven't studied it a lot. But with that being said, we're going to grab the stone picker here. Okay. We're going to hop in here and we're going to now unfold it. And this works just like any other tool does. We're going to take it onto the field. Now make sure you are going over uh, the stones. So we're just going to go over each part of the field here. Uh, but make sure you are going over the stones or it will not collect your stones, okay? Now, once you get it up here to the field, you got it unfolded, you're going to drop it down. And you're going to have to turn it on, okay? So, we're going to turn it on. And if you'll see when we go over these stones right here, it picks them right up, okay? It'll, it'll pick up it'll pick up the bigger stones and it'll leave the smaller ones. And we can just, like I said, we can just roll those out, okay? Let's go ahead and lift that back up. And let me make sure here that it is getting those. Make sure we got those. As you can see, it got the ones on the first run here. It got all the ones there. Um, but them little specks like that right there are still in the ground. So to me, I think those are the smaller stones. Um, and the ones that are sticking up that are exposed, I think, the, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just telling. I'm just saying. I think those are the bigger stones. I just know when I, when I, run, my, uh, when I run my rock picker through it, it picks them up so uh but again guys you know just the, that's the one of the things about farm sim is that you can play the game however you want you know and it's going to be fun no matter what but you know if you want your yield to be great and you want it to be awesome and you want to get a lot you want your yield to increase then i would really highly recommend doing your uh fields just like this every single time even though it may take a little while we're gonna drop this back down we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna run this rock picker again as you can see it's gonna pick up those rocks 
But I do recommend doing it like this every time as, as, it, as it does help a lot, guys. It really does. I've tested it myself, and it, it, it completely helps uh, like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, I will warn you guys, once we get to the rolling part and then the seating part, it's going to be kind of hard to tell the difference between um, your lines and where you last left off at. So you just have to kind of really keep an eye on what you're doing. And I'll explain to you about all that, about exactly what I mean when we get to that part. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, guys, and I will see you all in the next part of the video. All right, guys and girls. So as you can see, our rock picker picked up uh, a stone picker. I keep calling it a rock picker. A rock picker. Our stone picker picked up all the rocks, as you can see, and got them all up. So that is a very useful tool. Now, the next option we're going to take, this is where the roller comes in handy and the roller increases the yield by five percent and pushes all the small stones back down into the ground so let's go ahead and grab this we got everything lined up here uh, and we're going to go ahead and unfold this and i'm going to pull in right here i think it goes out about that far yeah so the roller is simply to flatten out the ground and like i said to push the uh the smaller rocks back down into the dirt. Uh, that way they're not in your way during seeding and during uh, during your seeding process, all right? We're gonna pull up, we're gonna drop this down. That was my weight again, I did it again. There is the roller. Now, when you take the roller across the ground, you're gonna notice that it's going to put a completely different look uh, onto the ground there. You'll see it's almost like it's seeding. That's what I'm talking about, guys. It's going to be hard to tell the difference between your um, roller and your cedar trails. So it, it's it's going to have it's going to be a bit of a hard time, guys. You're just going to have to kind of really get it, maybe get out of your tractors a couple times and look at where you are uh, because the, you can you can definitely tell a difference. There's a little bit of a dark darker trail when you seed, but it is still very difficult to see. Um, so you might just want to kind of keep an eye on that and keep that in mind All right, let's go ahead and get at it here uh, And this is not going to take long at all to do this as this roller is extremely wide uh, That's what she said. So we're gonna go over uh, And again guys, I'll bring y'all back in the video once I am done All right, so our next step is going to be to fill this cedar right here So we're gonna pull up lid should automatically open we're going to fill it up. There it goes. All right. And I think I got it. Let's go ahead and fill that all the way up. Might as well. All right. Now, let's pull down here. All right. So we're going to pull up right here. And this is where it gets a little difficult to see things, guys, okay? So just keep it in mind. Uh, you might want to get out and kind of have a look at your line and see where you're leaving off. Uh, but again, that is what a ridge marker is good for, okay? So make sure uh, if you need to, guys, those ridge markers are there for a very, very good reason, just like that, to leave a line, which I think I might use because it's so hard to tell. We're going to go ahead and drop that cedar down. And we'll be planting wheat. Uh, if you go look up on your window, you can see I can select wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oil seed radish. We're going to go ahead and select our wheat. All right. And we're going to turn it on. And we're going to go with it. And as you can see, guys, um, that's why I'm using my ridge marker because... As you can see in the lines right there, it's pretty hard to tell the difference in what's rolled and what's what's planted. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and lift. Nope, wrong one. Lift that up. And figure out how to get those ridge marks. So now you want the other ridge marker open, just like this. You want the other one open. So as you can see, and I'll hop out and show you guys here. As you can see, it's hard to tell. The only reason we can tell is because of this ridge marker line right here. Now, I do recommend using the ridge marker line so that you know exactly where you leave off because, like, like I said, as you can see, from the cedar over to where it's rolled, it's hard to tell. Um, and you can tell just a little bit right here between the dark and the lighter uh, part of the field. 
Uh, but again, it's still hard to tell. So we're going to hop back in. We are going to finish this up. And once again, guys, uh, once I'm done, I will bring you all back in the video. So there's the ridge marker. So what you want to do is you guys can see there's a little bit of a lighter line right here. So this tells me right here, this is where my cedar left off. Uh, about right there. I'm a little far over, but get about right there. So guys, once I'm done with the video, um, I will bring you guys back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are done with that part. Now, I do want to point out one thing. Be aware, and I was not aware of this myself until now, but those ridge markers are good for marking your lines, but they can also dig up your stone, okay? So if this happens, you can go ahead and finish your seeding process. Uh, as you can see, we still have a seed in the ground. We have our wheat that's growing. You're going to have to go back and get your uh, stone picker and come back and pick these up. So the next step is going to be to obviously fertilize the field for the first state of fertilizer. And then your second state of fertilizer is gonna be after the first state of growth. So you fertilize it, then once your crop grows to the first state, you're gonna fertilize it again. So we're gonna pull up here and fill up our fertilizer. Right, so we're gonna fill that up. And if you need, um, if you need the fertilizer there guys, go into your store and then go over to, go down to objects and go to pallets. And right here is your liquid fertilizer. Okay, there it is right there. All right, and we're going to take this on down to the field. <clears throat> I do recommend using a way, guys, if you're going to be carrying heavy machinery like this on the back of your of your vehicles, um, as it just it, it makes your vehicle slider where if you don't have a weight. So we're gonna we're gonna go about right here because this this fertilizer spreads out quite a way. So so we're gonna go ahead and add our first state of fertilizer right here. And I believe that's going to hit the entire field. I'm not sure. Let me get out and check that. Yeah, we might need to move over just just a hair. Just a hair. Like that. And then, don't forget, guys, this machine can go up and down. I do have a, a tutorial on fertilizing if you want to check that out. Um, so you can move this up and down as you please. We're going to turn it on. And you will notice when you are fertilizing the field that it will now start having a damp look to it and that's fine it needs a damp look so you want the entire field to look just like that see how parts dry and part of it's damp you want that damp look around the whole entire field just like that okay let me back up and see if i can't fit this thing through without having to fold it up because these things are a little bit of a pain to have to fold up and then unfold and see i got caught right there so we're going to back up right here we're going to turn it on, and we're just going to finish the field here. Now, those stones, I'm not too sure about. I'm not too sure why the stone picker is not picking those up. I don't know why. I might edit that part out where I didn't pick them up. But just in case you guys want to know, um, I ran the stone picker again. So what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm guessing from what I know, just from what I know, is that the roller would have to be ran again, and those would have to be smashed back down to the ground. Uh, so, with that being said, now what we're going to do, since we've got our, um, so, so far, this is what we have done. Um, we have, let's hop out of our tractor here real quick. So, so far, we have ran a mulcher, which increases the yield by 5%. We ran a plow, which increases the yield by 15%. We spreaded some lime, which is ran, which is put down every three cycles, which means every third harvest. Uh, which also increases the yield by 15% and ground goes back to natural state after you put down the lime. Um, we did our cultivating, um, which keep in mind, again, the cultivating brings up those stones and um, it can have a lot of damage to your vehicles. Not a lot, but it can cause damage to your vehicles with those rocks and there. Just keep that in mind with the cultivating. Uh, we used a stone collector. Uh, then we used a roller to increase the yield by 5%, which is what that did. Uh, and we might have to use it again. We did our seeding, which we planted wheat. Uh, and we just did our first state of fertilizer. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to, uh, we're going to wait on the first, the, the, the first, <laughs> we're going to wait on the first state, the first growth state to grow up. And then I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back into the video. Man, that's a lot of equipment right there. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, we are in our first growth state of our uh, wheat right here. So it is safe to say that we can go ahead and do another state of fertilizer. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut this on right here, and we're going to drop it down. Turn it on. And another state of fertilizer is now being applied. You can also use herbicide if you like. You can apply. Now, I don't say just use straight up herbicide, but use a state like a state of fertilizer, and then you can apply some herbicide as well if you'd like. All right, let's go ahead and back up again. Um, I don't want to have to fold this thing up. Ooh, and it hit right there. Let's see if we can't get through there without hitting anything. <laughs> These, this, this is like the shortest fertilizer, liquid fertilizer sprayer I think they've got in the base game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Slip it up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so there it goes. And there's our second state of fertilizer right there. And let's cut it off. And then, so to harvest this, guys, is going to be in, we're going to be harvesting in J uh, July and August. Uh, so I'll bring you guys back in when it's almost at full growth. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now in January. The weather has changed. Snow is on the ground. Uh, and if you walk out on the field, you will now notice that you are 100% fertilized, which is a good thing, which means you don't need any more fertilizer, guys. That was the last state. Uh, normally, you can fertilize throughout the states. If it says that if the, if the, if the fertilize if the fertilized percentage starts dropping, then yes, I would apply in the state. I don't see why it would, uh, but with that being said uh we are 100 percent fertilized we've got a good crop growing right here we've got a good yield going and with everything that we've done this should turn out to be a pretty uh pretty good and decent harvest so um i'm gonna go ahead and speed the time back up and i'll bring you guys back in once we get into harvesting season all right ladies and gentlemen so here we are in june and you can see that it is growing and we have almost a full yield. We have almost a full growth state. Uh, as you can tell, it's growing beautifully uh, and we still have no weeds. We have no weeds, uh, So, but, but still keep an eye out for those. If you have weed growth on, make sure you keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> and if you have any weeds, you can always go into the store, go down to tools and there should be a spot for weeders. Where is that? I haven't looked much into that, guys. So give me just a second and bear with me as I have not looked much into the weeders. I don't even think I've seen those, to be honest about it. Um, I don't, okay, here they are right here. Weeders right here, guys. In the tools and right by slurry tanks and grass care, uh, grassland care. There's your weeders right there. You can go in here and you can always grab a weeder. And run it through there, and it will take care of the weeds for you if you get any weeds. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on that through your growth states. Uh, so once we're at full growth, guys, I will bring you all back into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and look at that beautiful, beautiful wheat right there. As we have a full yield, 100% fertilized, and still there were no weeds involved. So that is a good thing. Let's go ahead and let's go... Uh, let me go over here and buy a harvester and a header real quick because I'm going to mark my spot here on the field. Got stones over here too. Let's go ahead and mark our spot here. And we're going to get us a harvester real quick. Let's just grab us a uh, harvester. Um, I'll just grab this one right here just for the sake of the tutorial. I do not want twin wheels though. I do not want twin wheels. Uh, wide tires will do. And then if you want a header, you're going to go down to tools, go in your store, go down to tools, and you're just going to go over to headers, and we're just going to pick a simple one right here. We'll just grab this one for now. All right, and we're going to jump in. We're going to unfold, and we are going to hook up, man. We're going to hook up. All right, so we're fixing to harvest our wheat here, and there is a big difference, guys. I, I can tell you right now from what I've tested and what I've looked at, um, that there is a big difference between not doing this and doing all these steps, okay? There's a big difference in your yield. There's a big difference in the way the crop looks. There is just a huge difference in 
general, guys. So just keep that in mind that if you want a good yield, you want a beautiful crop, and you want to make more money with a lot more uh, harvest, this is definitely the way to go about it, man. Definitely the way to go about it. So we're going to go right here. Now, you do want to make sure when you first buy a harvester that your straw swath is turned off, okay? So right there, it says enabled. I'm, I'm sorry, it says enable straw swath, so that means it is disabled. We're going to go ahead and put this down. And we're going to start harvesting our wheat. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have a nice and beautiful yield on the field there. That rhymed. That was the night. Uh, we, we have, I mean, look at this wheat, guys. Look how beautiful it is. And imagine the yield we're going to give from this, right? The amount of the harvest that we're going to gain from just taking those few simple and easy steps. Um, now it may seem like, uh oh, what am I stuck on? What am I? What am I? What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? Come on, get out of there! Now it may seem like a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and let a worker take over this. It may seem like a lot, guys and girls, and and it might be a little bit of work. But that's that's part of being a farmer. That's part of getting a good yield. That's part of getting a good harvest, and getting a more of a harvest and making more money. Because the more harvest you have, the more money you make. Uh, with that being said, guys, I'm not going to go into all testing and all that on here, but that is it. That's the steps you take. I'm sorry if, if, the, if the tutorial was a little out of order, but we got it done nonetheless, and that is the steps that you take uh, to get a good yield. So again, I'm going to go over it one more time, guys. This is the tools you are going to need in order. This is how what you're going to need and how you will use them in the order that I'm naming them off, Okay. So first, you will need a mulcher, which increases your field by your yield by five percent. Plowing, okay, you're going to need a plow, which increases the yield by fifteen percent. All right, cultivating. This is going to bring up the stones out of the ground and is going to cause damage to the vehicles. But disc carols, if you use those, it's going to speed up the process of your weed. So as you can see, using a cultivator, we had zero percent weeds. We had no weeds. But if we use a disc harrow. I have a feeling we'd have had problems with weeds. So, that's a good thing. <clears throat> that's out of the way. Uh, after using a cultivator, you're probably going to need to bring out a stone picker and pick up the stones. Um, and if that doesn't work, again, you can always use the rower, which I would recommend using that anyway because that does increase the yield by 5% and pushes all the small stones back down into the ground. Uh, the seventh tool you're going to need okay step number seven is going to be a seeder of some type now make sure when you're seeding you're looking into your menu and seeing what you can seed and when you can seed it because if you're working with seasons and you have to on this and we he is blocked by something let me get him out of the way so if you're working with seasons on this which i know that you have to to make your to make your your crop grow then you're gonna have to keep an eye on that menu, and I'll show you what menu I'm, what I am, what menu I'm referring to up here. If we go up here and go to, um, where is it at? Let me go back down to my seasons and turn them back on here. And if you go back to the menu right here where the little calendar is, you will see um, that in the green, guys, is the planting season. So in the green, it will tell you what you can plant. Okay. In the green is what you can plant. Now, this is the month that you can plant that specific crop in. So, for example, corn. You can plant corn between April and the end of May, the beginning of April and the end of May, okay? Now, the harvesting season for corn would be in the orange. So, harvesting for corn is going to be um, right here, which is going to be between the beginning of October and the end of November. So just kind of always keep an eye on this chart, guys, as this thing uh, can save your life and can be your best friend just like that helping, okay? Uh, with that being said, that is going to do it for this tutorial. Also, after the seeding part takes place, you're going to need the first state of fertilizer before your crop ever peaks the dirt, okay? Before it ever peaks out of the dirt. You're going to need that first state of fertilizer. You can also use herbicide afterwards if you'd like. Um, now, after the first... Uh, after this first, the first growth state uh, makes uh, its way to the ground, after its first growth state, you can use another state of fertilizer, which will be your second state. At that point, check your field info and see if you are 100% fertilized. If you are, 
then no more fertilizer is required, okay? But always keep an eye on those percentage numbers. They are very, very important. Um, with that being said, and I also want to point out one more thing, guys. With the weeds, um, they can actually break your harvest down by 20%. So in other words, it puts your, I'm sorry, your yield, it puts your yield negative 20%. So it, it can actually have a damper on your yield. So make sure you're always keeping an eye on those weeds. I would recommend using a cultivator and not a disc harrow. As in my opinion, I think a disc harrow would definitely have caused weeds. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click the bell and click all so you know exactly when I post new, post new content. I can never say that when I post new content and when I go live. Another big shout out to Scroft as this video would not have been possible without him. Guys, I will link Scroft's YouTube link, uh, YouTube channel in the description below. He'll be at the very top of my description. Go check him out, man. Show this guy some love as he's got a lot of great farming simulator content on his channel with that being said until next time ladies and gentlemen this is cj farms and one crop at a time we are helping america grow i will see you all in the next video